Welcome back to Ever. back again with another video. I'm back with another, well, it's been a while since I did one of these, but it's a mukbang. I got Chinese, as y'all can see. Oh, it came with an egg roll too, I didn't know. The Chinese food, I got gin, general style chicken, or however you say it, gentile. I say gentile chicken, that's not how you say it at all. But I, got, I think it's called general something chicken. So I got that. It came with an egg roll, which I didn't know, and shrimp fried rice. What we're gonna discuss in this mukbang is reality TV, reality show. Because that's really like the main type of show I watch on TV. I don't know about y'all. Well, if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you like reality TV. Because somewhere in the top, oh, and to drink, I got, oh, this got a lot of green on it. To drink, I got Everfresh. I don't know if they have this where y'all from, but. I can't really show the bottle because it's got a lot of green on it. And if if you get why I can't show it, then put it inside the comments down below. It's just really good. So, well, I like to put this stuff on my rice. Don't really know what it's called. I think it's for the air grow though. So. How was y'all day? It's been so long since I did a mukbang. The last one I did was like a big brother one, I think. So, I guess that can be the first thing we talk about is big brother. Speaking of big brother, <laughs> though we haven't said one thing about it, I heard that the challenge, the next season of the challenge is done filming. And it's got a lot of Big Brother 20 cast on it. I just got into the challenge two seasons ago. Not the season that just passed, but the season before that. Because my cousin is a big fan of the challenge, and I'm a big fan of Big Brother, so we like swap shows. Really, I think she just watched the Big Brother because Candy was on it, Celebrity Big Brother. And she liked Candy, but... We all know how that season of Celebrity Big Brother, like it wasn't a good season of Celebrity Big Brother. And then she watched Big Brother 21, which was, we all know that wasn't a good season. So like her impression of Big Brother is like, and I can't blame her because those were two bad seasons. Well, Celebrity wasn't that bad, but it was bad, you know? And then Big Brother Canada season, what was that, seven? I watched that live and that was bad. So we just had a bad year of Big Brother. We had... A bad regular Big Brother US, a bad celebrity Big Brother, and a horrible Canada. Possibly the worst season of Big Brother Canada, even though I haven't seen every season. But, I'm trying to get her to watch Big Brother 20, because that was like the best season of Big Brother I've ever seen. And a lot of Big Brother cast is rumored to be on it, like Casey, Swaggy, Bailey, Fessy. Like, I'm hearing that they're all on it. So, I want her to watch it. So that she won't be spoiled by watching, like, if she watch, if she don't watch Big Brother 20 and she watch the challenge that's going to come out, which she is because she's a fan of the challenge, they're going to tell who won Big Brother 20. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Sorry, I forgot to cover up that juice. Mmm. Mmm. The chicken, they won. But, um, by the way, this is Chinese food from an actual Chinese restaurant in Michigan. In case y'all are wondering. If you're from Michigan and you want to know where I got this from, just leave inside the comments down below. And I'll let y'all know. Mm. Definitely my favorite Chinese restaurant that I've ever been to. Um, yeah, food not expensive either, so and they give you a lot, obviously. Like this right here is a lunch special, so it's supposed to be the smaller. And cheaper, but 
As you can see, this is like a dinner. This is so much food. But going back to reality, Love & Hip Hop New York just started, or Mi Miami, sorry. Miami just started, because I just looked at the trailer. Or is it Hollywood? No, Miami just started. Hollywood just ended. Uh, how are y'all liking that? I'm not watching it right now. I'm waiting to binge watch like I just did with uh, Hollywood. I binge watched. Y'all been hearing about April and Fizz? That's a mess. I feel so like silly though because I really liked April. I thought she was like my favorite. She wasn't her and Omarion was my favorite when Hollywood first started. And I thought April was like the best female on any reality show. Like she was like the perfect female. And now she's like the opposite. And they were calling her out on the reunion like she nobody like her. And Jason Lee, who I don't even like, was saying like I used to like you, but you like he was saying what I wanted to say. What else? Oh, the circle. The circle US. Okay, hold on. Alright, so. I love the circle. I have been hearing about it before US. I'm talking about UK. Um, I have been hearing about it from Devon from Big Brother. I follow her on, tw her on Twitter. She talk a lot. Sorry, Devon, but you do. I mean, I talk a lot, too, but not on Twitter. Um, she's always talking about the circle. And I watch one of her YouTube videos. And I even commented on the video and DM'd her and told her that she made me watch the circle. I binge watched it. So what happened was she made a YouTube video. And she was talking about, one of the, it was a Q&A, one of the questions was, if you had to do one more uh, reality show, which would it be? And she said, it was Big Brother Canada, I wanted to do that really bad, but then the circle, and she was hyping it up a lot, but she wouldn't expose to what it is. She would not spoil any part of what the circle is. So I'm like, she just hyped this up for like a minute straight without giving away anything. So I have to look this up. I, I looked in the, in the com I think I commented, like, where can I watch The Circle? And somebody told me it was on a YouTube, which it is. Uh, the Circle UK. I watched season one, binge watched, fell in love, loved the show. This happened to me with a lot of shows. Like, this happened to me with The Shy, Big Brother, uh, Basketball Wives, years ago. Uh, like, they're always happening to me, but I was, like, so into it. Binge watched it, loved it. Do y'all want me to, I can do a mukbang on that alone, just The Circle UK season one. Then I started watching season two. By the way, I wasn't spoiled on season one, so I love that. I watched. I was actually on vacation. At, well, not vacation, but like a work vacation. So I, I spent a lot of time inside of a hotel room by myself. That's how I got the, to binge watch the whole season in like three days. Yeah, three days. Now. Yeah. I started watching season two, but that's when I had left my work vacation. So I was back at home, so I didn't really finish it yet, but I did get spoiled, unfortunately, on who won and who on the final two was. So, not that excited. I haven't finished it yet. I want to. I will finish it. But, my same cousin that I actually put on YouTube or on Snapchat. Does anybody want to let me borrow their their Netflix? Because I heard there's a Big Brother US. I mean, uh, the Circle US. Because all the Big Brother alum are tweeting about it. But I'm not I'm not trying to read it. I'm trying not to get spoiled. Evil Dick even tweeted about it from Big Brother. Y'all know him. I like him, but Somebody even said, like, one of the Big Brother alums, like, is, Big Bro is the Circle paying Big Brother alums to tweet about the Circle? Because everybody was talking about the Circle. So I put on Snapchat, like, does anybody have a Netflix account that I can use so I can watch it? Turns out my mom had one, and it's already on my PlayStation, so I watched season one yesterday because my cousin, the same one that watched the challenge, told me that she was watching. She only watched three episodes, and she loved it. She's in love with it. She really liked it. She said, she think I'll be good on it, but I really want to do Big Brother. Sorry, y'all. I really want to do Big Brother because I like people. It's just like people. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just like 
people. I hate when people say that they I, I hate people. That is so opposite of me because I just I just really like people the interaction meeting new people all that I just want to like talk and engage and pick your brain and get to know you and ask the genuine question how you doing I got that from Enzo <laughs> if y'all don't know where I got who that is um but yeah so I want to do big brother really bad But going back to the circle, um, I'm on episode two right now, the US. So I'm not really familiar with all their names yet. Alana went home, which I really didn't like. But at the same time, I didn't want any of them to go home. I hate that they went home in the first episode. I liked all of them at the time. Even if I wasn't like a fan, I wanted them to stay. I'm trying to think who my favorite is. Um. Oh, it's the gay guy named Chris. I really like him, and which is surprising because I normally don't like the gay people, the, the gay dudes on reality shows. Because I watch a lot of reality shows. Always it's extra as hell, and I just they are so annoying. Like, but like Big Brother, um, or not Big Brother, the Circle UK. Watch them, like. The guys, the guys, the girls, the gay girl, lesbian girls is always, they all right, they chill. But the dudes, no. But Chris, genuinely like him. He's funny. He's not too extra. It's just like his personality. Um, the other guy's more extra than him. I don't know his name at all. Um, the Italian guy. He's funny, though. I kind of like him. Alana, I feel like she got judged for no reason. And I think the other girl, Sammy, her, but I think she's too arrogant. The way she act is arrogant. And when she get mad at people like Skinny Girl Club and all that, the name of their chap, I think she's looking too much into that. <laughs> mm. Mm. I've been living here next to this place for so long and getting it for so many years. And I'm moving. Not far away or nothing, but like far enough to where I probably wouldn't eat this for dinner no more. And it's like, I'm really gonna miss getting this whenever I want. Oh, I'm almost out of juice. Um. Who else was on the show? The basketball player playing too hard, too fast. I could have genuinely saw him winning this show, but I'm only on episode two, so I could be saying this and all these people could be gone. Actually, where I just paused it, a new person was coming in. I paused it and I got food. Um, I think he's winning too hard too fast because when he got inside that chat with the girl Mercedes after they had got rid of Alana, he was like letting her know like you're safe because of me. Like he did too much with it. And Mercedes ain't dumb. And I kind of like Mercedes. I think she's real, but even though it's funny that I'm saying she's real, but she's playing, she's being a catfish right now. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. I like her though. Oh, the guy that's playing as his girlfriend. I don't know her name, Rebecca. I like him. I feel like he's gonna play this as so well. He could be like like the guy from um the Big Brother. Or, ah, he's messing those names up. He could be like the guy from the Circle UK season one who played as his girlfriend. He could be just like that. He's just a little bit more goofy, which I kinda like. He kinda remind me of me a little bit. Um but he just, he got to be careful because he, he got messed up, tripped up when he asked Sammy if she liked Chris and everybody was like, he gay. like Or he asked somebody. It's crazy how they got suspicious of him just because of that, though.
I think if I was on the circle, I would play as myself. I do think I would. I think it'd be fun to catfish though. Well, I will play as another guy, not as a girl, as a guy. But on my personality, maybe I will play as a model, like some model, Instagram model, use his pictures, but still have my personality. Cause models get more likes. More models are more like. But so in my bio, I wouldn't be a model. I would be myself, YouTuber, um, working at a warehouse in Michigan, all that stuff. But just have like a model profile. I think. Ooh, am I giving away my whole like spiel right now? <laughs> I'm giving away my whole thing. What if I got casted next season? <laughs> That's weird. This might not make the cut. Who am I kidding? I only want to go on one reality show, alright? Not the circle. Big brother. One of my favorite show is Big Brother, so. Sorry, the circle. Guys, though. I think that's it. Because I'm getting full. I'm getting full for real, and I'm running out of stuff to talk about. Is there anybody from the circle that I didn't talk about? Got shit up. Mm. Oh, Shuby. I like Shuby. Nothing bad to say about him. Um. Oh! I said I wanted to talk about this because this was one of the last things I saw. The guy with the Italian accent. I didn't like that. Why would he confront the basketball player like he did? That was not right. Like, he just made himself a target and he was in a good spot. Like, why would you do that? That was weird. But I, because I, I thought he was all right. He was a, like, nothing bad about the Italian guy. But then he just went and, like, really, like, was going off. On the basketball player, and the basketball player saw right through it. And if the basketball player is the influencer next, he's gonna get rid of the Italian guy. To be honest, if the Italian guy left next, I wouldn't care. I, I would want him to leave next. I wouldn't mind if the basketball player left either, though. To be honest, those are the two that I'm the least interested in. The basketball player is just boring. To be honest, he really is just boring. But then, I feel bad saying that because I'm saying I want him to leave because he's born. But he's playing as himself with his own. <laughs> he's not catfishing. And he's using his own personality. He's not lying about anything except that he's single. And he's playing the game. So I feel bad saying that I want him to leave next, you know? Because he hasn't done anything. That's weird. Because he's not extra like, you know, Rebecca, Rebecca's boyfriend or whatever, or a Mercedes or Karen or whatever. It's so funny that her name is Karen. Or Chris. They're all extra. And he's not. So, I don't like that I... Even Shuby is extra a little bit. Shabam, or whatever. Um, guys, that's it for this mukbang, because I'm full. And the last, like, three bites I ate was me, was me still being full. Um, so the circle, my favorite is Chris. And the least favorite is either the basketball player or the Italian. I wouldn't mind if they left. Um, Big Brother, US, my favorite player of all time is Vanessa. Um, 
I haven't seen every season of Big Brother though. I'm missing like three or four, five seasons. Maybe three or four seasons. And Big Brother Canada, I haven't seen season six. Would that have been six? Would that have been six that I didn't see? Five and six, I haven't seen. And I don't know who won either. Um. So my favorite, ooh, I don't think I have a Big Brother Canada favorite. I, I really wanted to like, What's the guy from season two name? He was always a good guy. He didn't really have that many alliances. He didn't have alliances. But then he just got too cocky with throwing challenges and stuff. He was like, um, Muslim. I forget his name. But he would have been my favorite, but he just got too cocky in the end. He was throwing challenges and stuff. I don't really know who my favorite from Big Brother Canada is. But... That's it. Oh, oh, loving hip hop. My favorite is Jocelyn. Um, shit, I don't know. <laughs> I like Jocelyn. Oh, Ray J. Guess I like Ray J. Princess. Ray J. And Princess is fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. Let me know if y'all want to see more mukbangs inside the future. Let me know if y'all want me to talk about Big Brother Canada when it comes out, Big Brother US when it comes out. Look, I'm gonna apply for Big Brother US, so wish me luck. Um, and uh, the circle, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, I don't know about the circle. I'm, I'm Big Brother through and through. <laughs> the challenge, let me know what y'all want me to talk about next. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.